Over the past 150 years in Vermont, most of, and, and it's estimated that over 70% of Vermont streams have been fragmented in some way or another. That disconnectivity doesn't allow fish and other aquatic organisms to move freely within the watershed. So nearly all freshwater fish species migrate. Some migrate within rivers and others go beyond to oceans and back to complete their life cycles. Fish such as brook trout, Atlantic salmon, walleye, stonecat, and many others migrate throughout Vermont streams continuously for reproduction purposes, to find food, to escape intolerable conditions such as overheated waters. So fish are cold-blooded animals, um, and so that means they can't keep their body temperature the same temperature all the time like people can. Um, so they need to adapt and be able to move around when temperatures change in the water. Um, and trout need cold water um, to survive. So Bull Run has been disconnected by this dam for a long time now, decades. Um, and that's really been an impediment to wild fish, um, especially trout in this reach. Um, and by removing this dam, we're actually opening up about 26 miles of river that fish that were trapped below can now come up and access. So we have 36 acres here. 11 of them are on the west side of Bull Run Road and 25 are on the east side of Bull Run Road, which also includes Bull Run Brook, which bisects that part of the property. And on that brook is the dam in question that has been here, I believe, since about 1920 and it was built to create a swimming pond for the girls' summer camp, which was Camp Weakoe, which was established in the early 1920s. And then in 2011, <laughs> everything changed. <laughs> uh, Irene came through, uh, and that entire area was filled with eight feet of rushing water. When the water subsided, there were about two feet of silt and debris that were deposited there. We identified the Camp Weakawi Dam as a good candidate because it was in poor condition. It was causing uh, damage to the property uh, every time it flooded and um, was a perfect candidate for removal. So right where I'm standing, um, we're upstream of the dam that's been removed and, you know, sediment would have been kind of over my head, you know. Many, many feet of sediment had accumulated behind the dam. Impoundments or reservoirs can extend upstream for quite a distance. And what happens in those impoundments is that the fine sediments that come from upstream get deposited on the river bottom or the reservoir bottom. And they bury the coarser cobbles and gravels that are more suitable for species such as brook trout. If we just took out that dam, without also removing some of the sediment behind it. All of that hundreds of years of sediment would just travel down the stream, um, clogging the channel, uh, potentially clogging downstream bridges and smothering habitat. So, you know, you're looking at a construction site here where we've removed a lot of that sediment that had accumulated. Once we remove the dam and start to restore that stream habitat, we start to see that natural function come back, not just not just in moving fish above the dam and having fish be able to move up and down the stream, but we also reconnect the floodplain habitat. We're restoring the, the native trees and shrubs so that that near stream and riparian habitat is also restored. So that it functions much more like a natural looking stream, very similar to where we're standing right now. This project actually is gonna breathe new life into that area for us. It's gonna make it accessible. It's gonna make it safe. It's gonna make it beautiful. It's gonna bring that back to being a useful area for us and for other people and the fish. World Fish Migration Day is a global celebration around the importance of free-flowing rivers and the fish migrations that those rivers sustain. Streams like Bull Run are vital habitat for brook trout and many other aquatic organisms. Help us celebrate World Fish Migration Day as we work together to create a clean, healthy, and resilient Winooski watershed.